Education is changing. The world is changing. It's really essential for us to relook at what it means to be a holistically well and healthy person. Especially in Singapore, kids are facing so much pressure. I've seen kids that would cry if they don't do well in the test because then they're like, my parents are going to kill me, my teachers are going to kill me, what's going to happen to my future? I think when we look at our children, do we want our children to be straight A students or do we want our children to be happy? Most of the time, we want both because we want it all. <laughs> um, but is it too much to ask for a balance? So you don't really want to have students who are full of information, who are full of knowledge, but do not have other capabilities because Google knows it all. But if we can impact students to really know who they are, be good with who they are, feel love for themselves, that's going to be world changing. We were looking for a mindfulness program to implement. And when we looked around, uh, we found the Contentment Foundation's Four Pillar of Wellbeing program. Uh, and uh, we were quite amazed by it. Honestly speaking, I find that the Contentment Project is so easy to follow, it's so user-friendly, and it's able to be applied school-wide very easily. We really, really aligned with the vision of the Contentment Foundation of wellness within, and then well-being for all. You cannot give what you do not have. We had a few reasons for choosing the Contentment Foundation. One of them was the four pillars. These four pillars actually outline what do you do with mindfulness? What do you do with mental well-being eventually? It's not just about mindfulness. It's about community, um, there's self-curiosity, and it's balance. It's a huge toolbox that we can reach into, and that's how the students talk about it as well. And they can pull out gratitude or empathy or altruism to help them deal with the relationships they have with their peers, with their teachers, and their, their siblings and parents at home. I want kids to leave here with those toolbox that they can apply anywhere in their life and in real life situations. And in the end, that's what we want as educators, is to prepare them for what's out there. <laughs> it has been so personal. It has really made us look inside. And with that, it's making the work that we have to do now so much clearer. I can't even articulate or begin to explain how much I feel inside. It's just been the most amazing experience. I think it's amazing because if we do this right, our students will be teaching their parents. Uh, and their parents will be teaching some of these skills to the people around them. So schools are beacons for the community around them and we hope to not just teach students but everyone that interacts with our school. So that is really, really my aspiration that this little tiny school could really be a model uh, for other schools and if we can take it forward, I think then we will truly, truly be able to realize the vision of wellness within and well-being for all. Yeah.